let's get to know each other, shall we? Today I want to do something a little bit different. I'm going to be telling you super weird random facts about me, and then in the comments, I want you all to leave your weird random facts about yourselves. Let's do this. I've always been super weird. This is not a new thing. As a kid, I was always dressing up and putting on plays, just being a complete whack job. Which is what brings me to my first fact. I wasn't what you would call a cute kid. I didn't have my first real boyfriend until I was 19, almost 20 years old. Nobody wanted me. I hit puberty really young. In fifth grade, I was five foot six. I have had over 45 jobs. Most of them have been waitressing. I'm just, I'm not really a good employee, if we're being honest here. I would always get in trouble for eating all the food. I used to walk up to the pet store and buy rats and bring them home and hide them from my parents. And they lived in my room and they had good lives until my parents found out. They would like check me for rats when I walked in the front door, so I couldn't do it anymore. Mom! Yes? I, I had to go poop. <laughs> when I was 12, my grandma for Christmas sent me a workout tape as a gift. So I got the hint. That was right around the time that my insecurity issues kicked in. <laughs> as a child, I had night terrors just about every single night. I always thought that there were snakes and bugs in my bed and I would scream bloody murder and my dad would have to run in and turn the light on and like show me that there was no bugs or snakes anywhere. It would take a really long time, but he did it like every night. He was a good dad. Speaking of my dad, he had six kids with four women. So, my dad got around. I've had 11 ulcers on my eyes, on my actual eyeballs, because I'm supposed to take my contacts out every night, but I'm way too lazy, so I just sleep in them and cross my fingers and hope I don't go blind. I will only eat boneless, skinless chicken breasts and a well-done burger, and that's it for me. I'm weird. There's like tendons and like gray parts and fat. No thank you. Both of my parents and all but one of my grandparents have passed away. So it's really hard for me to get close to people because I'm terrified that they're gonna die. That was a depressing fact, sorry. Buzzkill. If I didn't lose some followers on that last one, I'm definitely gonna lose some now. I believe in conspiracies. I'm one of those crazy people. Totally believe in aliens universe is so huge. There's no way that we're it. You know what I'm saying? If you've ever wondered about my snaggle teeth, my parents gave me the option to have braces my senior year, but I declined because I did not want to have braces in my senior picture. Good decision. Good decision making on my part. Here's one that you probably didn't know. If you read my blog and stuff, this might surprise you. My stepdad was a cop. From the time I was eight years old, I grew up in a house with a cop as a parental unit. You'd think that would keep me from becoming a felon. <laughs> I pick up garbage off the floor out in public when I see it. So if I'm walking on the road and there's a bag there floating in the wind, I pick it up and I put it in the garbage can. Everybody thinks I'm crazy and says, just leave it, but I can't. What if a little turtle gets his little turtleneck stuck in there? If I don't pick it up, who's gonna do it? Nobody, and then our earth is just gonna be a big trash hole. I'm a total people pleaser, so much so that it's like annoying. Like if I'm standing in one spot and a lady walks by and bumps into me, I'm like, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry I was standing here in your path, my bad. <laughs> Should have known you were coming. Here's a fun fact, I didn't graduate high school. If you know me, you know that I went from being captain of the cheerleading squad to dropping out in a short two months after trying my first drink. Instead, I got my GED. My mom was so happy for me. The day we got my certificate in the mail, you would think that we just got a check for Publishers Clearinghouse. My mom was awesome. In high school, when all the girls were dressing up as skanky cats and witches for Halloween, I dressed up as a carton of milk. Most of you guys already know this, but I did roller derby for a few years. I was a country girl at the time, and my roller derby name was Dixie Wrangler. Yeehaw! Forty of my friends RSVP'd to my baby shower, and three showed up. <laughs> and I felt like a really big loser for a long time. Still do. My son was due on September 14th, but he decided 
to wait an extra eight days to pop out on my birthday. <laughs> so, way to steal my thunder, buddy. Just kidding, it's the best birthday gift I've ever got. Except for Backstreet Boy ticket. I got Backstreet Boy's tickets in seventh grade as a surprise and I cried. <laughs> but you're first, you're still first. My husband and I didn't have Chloe's name picked out until the people at the hospital were like, you, ma'am, you guys have to leave now. You have to take this baby home, so we need a name to put on the birth certificate. That was when we came up with Chloe Faith. I can't close my eyes in the shower because I just know that somebody's gonna murder me the second I do, so I just keep them open. I just like get soap and water in them, but I'm like, it's okay, I'm gonna be ready when they come in. One time when I was a kid, my mom was giving my sister more attention than me, so I pretended like I was drowning. Only my mom didn't see it, some other dude did, and he jumped in, fully clothed, to pull me out of the water. I felt like a real a-hole. So that's it, there's a million more, but that's all I have time for today, because I have to do mom stuff. But I want you guys to leave me some random facts about yourselves in the comments, and I can't wait to read them. I love you guys so much. I just want to kiss all your faces and squeeze your cheeks. Sorry, I'm going, I'm done. Mom, I, 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 I got Good job, buddy.